Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be discussing the third lab program, which is candidate elimination. So the uh, the question goes as follows: We have been given with a set of training examples uh, stored in a CSV file, just as this one. Okay, this is a training example data set which is stored in CSV file, and here we have four rows, and the uh, attributes are uh, sunny, warm, normal, strong, warm, same, and yes. So we'll be using this example uh, CSV file to implement and demonstrate the candidate elimination algorithm. Output a description of the set of all hypotheses consistent with the training example so basically we have to output the following things which is the uh, final specific hypothesis and final general hypothesis for the more information regarding how this algorithm works you can watch the theory video wherein i have explained the same example okay but for this uh, lab program i'll not be explaining again that one i'll just tell you what the algorithm is doing here and how do you remember this algorithm so before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to support help me make more videos like this so let's get started without wasting any more time see here this is the whole uh, program so first we have to import csv okay because we are uh, working with csv so obviously we'll import csv here then the next thing is with uh, open training example dot csv as f so f is a variable which consists of this following file okay training example dot csv then what we are doing csv dot reader of f we are reading this file and storing it csv file so csv file contains all this data okay then what we are doing data is equal to list of csv file so this whole data is getting converted into list so how will it will be converted the first list to Will contain these items second list will contain these items third list will contain these items and fourth list, uh, list will contain these items okay so it will be in the form of a 2d list then what we are doing specific and general finally we have to output two things right so we are uh, specifying two things specific and general this is the first part of the program this uh, signing of the values is the first part of the program next part we have the for loop thing and finally we'll be having the printing of the things okay so let's have a look at the uh, specific and general what we are assigning in specific data of zero and nothing till minus one what does this mean data is nothing but 2d array and uh, here we have zero zero means zeroth row and nothing till minus one is from uh, the starting column till the ending column except the last column okay minus one is the last column so if you uh, specify some indexes here that means till that index except that index so it will go till the last index but it will not consider the last index so data will have what data will have sunny warm normal strong warm same these five things it will have except this thing it will not have this thing i mean six things okay these are six things right these six things will be stored in data this is the zero throw and till uh, minus one till minus one means it will go till here but it will not consider this one so we have these five things here that will be stored in data uh, i mean specific it will be stored general will store a 2d array which will be having these things how many times for j in range length specific length specific means what is the length of specific length of specific is six one two three four five six so six times this thing will be stored okay that, that's what this thing should be stored six times that's what it means so what is this thing this thing is nothing but question mark for i in range length specific so length specific is the again six so six question marks will be stored six times so six question mark one uh, list like that six lists will be stored so if you want to have a visualization of what it looks like it looks like this this is the specific value in this the six things are stored sunny warm normal strong warm same and what is the other things this is the six question marks like that six times it is stored that is what is uh, having in general so general will be initially full of question marks and specific will have initially the first row values the specific values then what we are just seeing is see remember one thing if it is yes then we are making change to specific if it is yes we are making change to specific if it is no we are change, uh, making change to general okay that's the thing which you need to remember so we'll be uh, seeing the last thing if it is yes we are making change to specific else you are making change to general in this case so what we have to see is the last value last value how can we access last value can be accessed as follows i in data see data consists of 2d rows right 2d rows all the these things are stored for i in data means i will consider this whole row first then this row then this row then this row so i initially will be this whole data set so in this whole data set which index i am accessing i of minus one minus one means last one so i'm accessing this one if this is equal to yes or this is equal to no that's what i'm trying to find out first so this is what is happening in the if l uh, if l if if i of minus one is equal to yes that means i have to make change to specific and this remains same for j in range length specific means six times i have to iterate for this one this one this one this one this one and this one so for that i'm using this for loop here this same for loop will be used even if it is no also right here even if it is the no i have to iterate six times because it doesn't matter if it is yes or no all will have six attributes in the main table 
people so if it is yes what will happen if it is no uh, what will happen that is the main ingredient in this algorithm so if it is yes what we are trying to change is specific only we are trying to uh, compare it with specific if i of j is not equal to specific of j i of j is what i of j means i of this one j j will be first this then it will be this then it will be this then it will be this and so on so i of j if sunny is not equal to specific of j what is specific of j specific of j is also sunny if these both are not equal then what i have to do then only i have to do these things if it is equal i need not do anything to specific see specific will change only when there is a change right see sunny is here sunny is here when will the specific change sunny sunny rainy when it becomes rainy here and see rainy will not be considered why because it is no had it been yes in that case sunny and rainy when it is uh, differing i have to make specific as question mark right that's what how the algorithm works so kind of specific algorithm that i had explained in the theory video right the same thing here also it's happening if if it differs then only make it as question mark and whatever specific becomes question mark that same corresponding change will be done to general as well if there is no change here initially i of j is same as specific of j then i need not make any change so this will be remaining uh, same until it is differing okay so that's what i'm doing here l if it is no if it is no i have to make change to what general i'll not touch specific here again i'll try was still uh, j is equal to ln specific then i'll see if i of j is uh, equal to or not equal to specific of j if it is not equal then i have to change general to specific value if it is not equal not equal means what see here if it is warm if it is cold okay see i'm considering this case here no when i am coming to cold here this is not same here when it is not same i have to mark the specific value what is a specific value it is warm so i have to always take the specific value when a, there is a differing in case of general again i am repeating i have to always take the specific value in case of general when i am differing and when i am differing in case of yes value then i have to take question mark these two things if you remember this program is cakewalk for you then if it is uh, same in that case i have to mark it as question mark if it is different at specific if it is same uh, mark question mark these two things only you remember after this part is done this for loop uh, if else condition is done then i have to go for the printing after if else condition is done for each of the step i'll be printing for a uh, step str uh, index uh, data dot index of i plus 1 index value i'm printing in the form of string of candidate elimination with step i have presented print the specific print the general forget this one just print specific and general that will be sufficient for you step you can also print by using a variable you need not have this one big um thing like data index and all this i also didn't understand how it works so you can have a variable where k is equal to 0 and you can just print uh, step 1 then you can implement k and so on that all the things you can do right so the main focus is do the specific and general changes and print it this ends the second part of the uh, program last part what we have we are setting a general hypothesis for general hypothesis we are traversing the general what is general general has these all question marks but in the final uh, answer we, we are not concerned about what is just all uh, field of question marks right see here if you consider this one here we have sunny so this is relevant one the, here we have warm but rest all are uh, stupid data because it doesn't have anything it has only question marks so you are not concerned about this one so how can we uh, detect if this is just question marks or not if it is not equal to question mark then only we are appending it observe carefully for i in general i in general means we are considering this one general is the whole thing so for i in general means this whole thing we are considering then for j and i for j and i means we are considering each of these instances if any of the instances is not equal to question mark means if it is not equal to question mark any of the instances that means this whole thing is relevant this whole thing is stored in i that is a relevant thing that's why i am appending i in gh gh is my final hypothesis so whatever is relevant i am uh, uh, means import uh, including it in the final array then uh, like that only i'll detect all the relevant ones i'll include in the array and whatever the whole question marks is there it will never come here why because if it is whole question marks this will never become true not equal to question mark only will become true so if all question mark means this will not become true that will not be included in the main, uh, main list so finally i'll be having in gh the final uh, list and in specific also i'll be having whatever i had specified here specific and not make, make any change it is just one uh, list here okay so that's all uh, that's why you have memorized a very simple one divided into three parts and memorize and uh, that's all for this video make sure you hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one